This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on now. Fill color. Ah, perfect. You can also make your rectangles different colors with fill. It will set the color for every shape that comes after it in the code. That's important to remember. So every shape that comes after it. All right, do this. Look at the code below that sets the color. Show me where. Hey, it shows me. Let me hit run. Okay. And so this is the line blue that's setting the color for the rectangles. Change the color from blue to yellow. Okay, well, that seems simple enough. Here's the word blue. And I'm going to delete blue. Make sure you don't delete the quotes, though, because if those quotes disappear, it will not work. The quotes tell the computer it's a string, which sounds complicated. But yeah, we just need quotes right now. Yellow. Now it's blue. But uh I mean, blue. Now it's yellow. But uh Cool. Add a new square by dragging a rectangle block into the code area below the fill command. Yeah, so I want to show you what happens if it's above it, though. So, oops, I put it above it. What will happen? It won't be yellow. And the reason is computers do everything in order. So the computer now says, okay, you want me to draw a rectangle? Splat, 200, 200, I just drew you a rectangle. Oh, I need to pick up this yellow paint now. Okay, everything's going to be yellow now. Okay, rectangle. And so afterwards, now it's picked up the yellow paint. These two are yellow. This wasn't. You have to put it afterwards if you want it to be that color. Reset run. That doesn't look like theirs, though. It, we want it in line on the x-axis. So let's do the grid, which is handy. Looks like x-axis here is 100, 100. Or <laughs> x is 100. So let's set this to 100. And I think it has about one square in between, which I believe that's where we're at now. Let's try. Perfect. Cool. Just remember, though, fill has to go above, right? Because if I do, if I dragged fill to the bottom, no working. All right. Onward.